You know, my motto for the haters is, my, my motto is you kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. But then you murder them with success. They hate to see Avery doing what? She got all those shirts? You know, your haters are just, just confused supporters. They just confused fans, that's all. That's fuel for me. I love it. I come and I tell my, when I go talk to the kids and they, they hoop, I say, listen, when you walk through the door, you should be like, who hating today? I'm trying to score 30 in the game. I need some fuel. Somebody tell me that I can't. Same way with your business. Who tell me I can't sell 10 or 20 or 30 of these a day? Can anybody tell me that? Because that's, fuel to, that's more fuel than my fire. I went up to the radio station, hollered at the program director. And I always build relationships, especially you guys are out here running these businesses. You guys know you got to build relationships. You got to shake hands and kiss babies. That's why my business is so successful now, because I understand how to build relationships and how to do the right things by people and walk in integrity. And so what happened was I got up to the radio station going up there to, hey, what's going on? Hey, is there anything I can do for you? We used to always do free performances for them because we knew in return they would play our music. But I went to the station this time and the program director was like looking at me like he saw a ghost. I said, hey, man, what's going on, man? He says, everything all right with you? I said, man, I'm cool. What you mean everything all right with me? He's like, did you send me a letter? I said, dude, no, I ain't seen you no letter. He said, come with me real quick. So I walk with him, right? Goes back to a file cabinet. Pulls out a letter. I can't make this. I wish I was making this up. I can't make this stuff up. Hands me the letter. It's addressed for me. But now my handwriting. That handwriting right was whack. So I grabbed the letter, put it out. I'm like, whoa. It says, to whom we make concern? This is player 1000. And I'm requesting that you stop playing my music effective immediately because I have contracted the HIV virus and I'll be forced to retire from music. Like, what the? I ain't making this a true story. I still have the letter. Oh, by the way, for the, I'm, I'm fine. That was a long time ago. Just for the, any rumors or anything, get started. I'm good. No, for real. But anyway, so I look at him and I just bust. I said, dude, I didn't send you that letter. I'm fine. And I thought he thought I was really, you should have saw him. He was like, oh, God, thank goodness. He said, I didn't know how to, how, how to approach you. He said, man, you sure you're good? I said, dude, why would I send you a letter? That don't even make sense. But somebody had so much hate in their heart for what we were doing, our success. Again, a confused supporter, because they actually took time and, and bought a stamp and wrote a letter and gave me more fuel. So whenever I'm in a situation where I want to quit or I want to give up, I always think back to that letter. And I vow to never, ever, ever let that person that wrote it see me fail. And I know you may not have stories that are quite that extreme, maybe some of you do, but you make sure you use it as fuel and you kill them with kindness and then you murder them with success because that's what I made the choice to do.